Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my top body sunscreens. I've talked about my face sunscreens, the ones that I really love. And if you haven't already seen that video, I will link that below for you. I do have a couple of different videos touching base on sunscreens that I like on my face. And I have never done one really for the body. So that's what today's video is all about. I'm going to share my top body sunscreens with you all. And I'm going to tell you how different they are from each one. So if you're interested in seeing what I have to say about them, then please keep on watching. Now before we go right into the video, I do want to touch base that it's very important to go and see a dermatologist on a yearly basis. I go every single year to get all of my moles checked and just to make sure that everything is looking good, especially if I see different things happening where my moles are changing color or I'm seeing new marks appear on my skin. I always like to let him know that so that he can take a look and see if that's something I have to be concerned with. So a couple of videos ago I have talked about that I recently got a dark spot on my face and I think I'm going back now a couple years ago where I first started seeing it and I just thought it was a freckle or it was just a new mole starting on my skin and I went to the dermatologist today actually and how convenient I already had this video planned that I wanted to do this and sure enough I went to the dermatologist today so this video is very appropriate to what I'm going to be telling you now and this dark spot was on my bottom half of my cheek here which I don't know if you can see, I have a spot right there. And he ended up saying, yes, we definitely have to put some liquid nitrogen to it and definitely zap it because it's damage that was done from the sun, I guess, many years ago. But I just started to see this spot about a year and a half to two years ago. So I did mention it to him today. He did zap it today. So it is really dark in color. I don't have any makeup on right now, obviously on it. And I'm gonna have to keep some makeup off of it for the next few days just to let it heal up. Now he did say that I will have to go back in a year's time and probably get it zapped again with liquid nitrogen just to fade it some more and to make sure that we did get it and that it's going to be removed. I wasn't too concerned that it was cancerous or anything like that. It was just a dark spot that the sun had given my skin. So that's why it's very, very important when I talk about sunscreen, it's so important to not only have it on your face but on the rest of your body as well. And that's why I'm creating this video for you because I know there's a lot of really gross and unpleasant sunscreens out there and that's why a lot of us don't want to wear it on our skin but I think the ones that I'm going to be sharing with you today are ones that you might like and I want to definitely touch base on those with you today. So let's get right into it. Okay so the first sunscreen that I'm going to share with you is the Australian Gold Botanical Sunscreen SPF 50 and it's a mineral lotion non-greasy and this is actually in the kids formula and the reason why I got it in the kids formula is because they do have an adult version identical to this it's an SPF 50 non-greasy but there is a fragrance in it and the smell was so strong there would be no way I could wear that on my skin all day long and be able to tolerate that smell all day. It's just very, very strong. I did test it on the back of my hand in the store and I just thought, no, there's no way I'm gonna be able to wear this on my skin all day long. So I ended up going with the kid one because it's fragrance free and I really love that. There is antioxidants in this as well. It's also water resistant and sweat proof up to 80 minutes. Now this is a mineral sunscreen. All of the ones that I'm gonna be showing you today are all mineral. As you know, I do not like chemical sunscreens. I try to go with mineral as I'm trying to be very cautious with my health. I don't want chemicals going into my system and having my body absorb absorb those chemicals. So going with the mineral sunscreen, the sunscreen sit on top of your skin and it doesn't get absorbed into the deeper layers of your skin. So with the mineral sunscreen, of course, you're going to get a white cast, of course, and I'm okay with that. I self tan my skin anyways, so I don't care if I do have a little bit of a white cast on my skin because I do have my tan underneath from my self tanner. So it is a preference. You may not like the white cast. If you don't, then unfortunately you're going to have to go with a chemical sunscreen, but mineral sunscreens are better for you. And if you can do it, definitely try and incorporate a mineral sunscreen for your face and your body as well. So I really like this one a lot. I actually use the face sunscreen to this, which is a tinted sunscreen, and that's also non-greasy, and it has antioxidants in it as well. And this has a titanium dioxide of 4% and a zinc oxide of 4% as well. This is also really affordable, which I really like. This is hypoallergenic, there's no 
animal testing. It's paraben-free, alcohol-free, dye-free, oil-free, and it's also BPA-free. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like on the back of my hand. And as you can see, it is pretty white in color, and when you rub it into your skin, you do see a little bit of a white cast, but your skin really does absorb it really quickly, and there is no stickiness to this sunscreen whatsoever. There is no oil in it, so you're not gonna feel really sticky in your clothes or in your bathing suit, which I really love. I absolutely hate feeling like that, and it's just a really nice product all around. So I really do enjoy using this all over my skin, but majority of the time I like to use this more on my neck and my chest and the backs of my hands, and then sometimes I will go in with a different sunscreen for the rest of my body because this does leave a fairly white cast on your skin. So if you don't like that look, just try using it on your neck and your chest and the backs of your hands, and then maybe use a different one for the rest of your body, and I'll have an option for you for that in just a minute. So yes, I really love this sunscreen a lot. It's really affordable. This again is non-scented which I really like so if you have sensitivities to scents you're absolutely going to want to pick up the kid one because the adult one is just too strong. So this one is a great option and it's a very good sunscreen. The next product that I'm going to be sharing with you is one that I just recently started using so it's very new to me and this one is a new product that I've never used before either. So it's a Korean brand and the brand is called Make Prem. Now this is an SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. You get the highest protection from UVA and UVB rays and this is also going to protect your skin from infrared light also. So it's a UV Defense Me Blue Ray Sun Fluid. I mean, 200 mils of product which is 6.76 fluid ounces so you're getting quite a bit of product here and this is an all-around amazing sunscreen so I really love trying different brands in different countries because there is a lot of great brands out there you just have to do your research and find out which ones would work best for you and I've heard a lot of great reviews on this brand and I knew that I had to try it out for myself so you can use this one for your face as well as your body and it doesn't really leave a white cast like like the Australian gold one does. This one really does blend into your skin really nicely. You're not really left with the white cast. This is the one that I like to use the most because it's very gentle, it's very hydrating, you're not sticky at all, but you do have a nice hydration feel to your skin. This is also great underneath makeup, so if you wanna use this for your face, it wears really nicely under your makeup all day long, and it's a great makeup base also, which I just really love in a sunscreen. So this has has no scent to it. If you really do smell it on the back of your hand, you do smell a little bit of a citrusy scent, but it is so minimal that you may not even smell that, but I can definitely smell that there is a little bit of a citrusy smell, which I really love. And yeah, this is a great product. So I'm gonna show you here what it looks like on the back of my hand, and as you can tell, it does rub into the skin very nicely. Yes, there is a little bit of a white cast there, but that is normal in mineral sunscreens. And like I said, you're not left with matte looking skin like the Australian Gold, but this gives a very nice slight hydration feel to the skin. Skin, which makes your skin really comfortable and you're not going to feel dry or greasy. It's just a great feeling on the skin, especially when you have clothes on. You're just not gonna be sticky at all. So I would highly recommend this product. It's an SPF 50, like I said, and I have researched a little bit about it, and they don't actually say how much zinc and titanium dioxide is in this. So when I did do some research, it did say that there could be a combined of 15% with the zinc and the titanium dioxide together. So that's actually still pretty good. That's actually a really good number. So at least you know that there's at least a 15% of the combined zinc and titanium dioxide and you know that your skin's gonna be protected. Now I do wanna mention that there is a special ingredient in this sunscreen that's going to help cool your skin down while you're outside. So what I mean about that is that when you're outside and you can really feel the rays on your skin and it feels really hot, there is a special ingredient that's in the sunscreen that is supposed to cool you down from those UVA and UVB rays that are hitting your skin. Now, I have never really noticed a difference. I don't think that maybe you would really notice a difference, but I think that's really cool in a sunscreen. I've never heard of that before. So to even have an ingredient in here that protects you from the heat and it's supposed to cool your skin down while you're outside, that's just absolutely amazing. So I really love this brand. I would highly recommend it and I definitely think you should try it. It's a great one. 
So the next sunscreen that I'm going to be sharing with you is also a new one that I just recently started using along with the Make Prem brand. And I've never heard of this brand before, so I don't know if they're just new to Canada. But the brand is called Think Sport. Now they also have a kid version as well. Obviously this is the adult one. You're getting an SPF 50 plus with 89 mils of product, which is 3 fluid ounces. It's a mineral based sunscreen with a 20% zinc oxide. And this feels so nice on the skin no different than the Make Prem sunscreen. They both have the same consistency. They give you a really nice hydrated feel on the skin. You're not left greasy. You're also not left matte. And it has a really nice citrusy scent to it, which is very nice in a sunscreen. There is also some great ingredients in the sunscreen, which I'll read some off to you. So there's purified water, there's cranberry seed oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, jojoba oil, as well as ascorbic acid, which is your vitamin C, and there's also hyaluronic acid. So there's a lot of great ingredients in this sunscreen, and it just feels so nice on the skin. Now, the only downfall with this sunscreen is that there is less product in this one than the first two sunscreens that I showed you, as well as the next sunscreen. So you, you are getting less product. Overall, it's a great sunscreen, and it's well worth it in my opinion. I found that the more you put on your skin, and the more you layer it up on your skin, the the more that it gave you a white cast. Of course, if you did a thin layer, it doesn't give you a white cast whatsoever, but obviously the more sunscreen you put on, the more protected you're gonna be and the better it is. So unfortunately, the thicker you go with this will be a more of a white cast on your skin. Now, as you can see in this clip here, it does rub into my skin really nicely, no different than the other two previous sunscreens that I showed you. And as you can tell, it was a light layer, so it doesn't give you a white cast whatsoever. I wouldn't really recommend using this on your face. I've never tried it, but I have heard mixed reviews that a lot of people broke out, and I don't wanna go there and try that. It is a little bit thicker, so i rather not use this on my face, but for the body, it's absolutely amazing and I really do enjoy it. It's also water and sweat resistant up to 80 minutes and you should definitely apply it every two hours after you've applied your first layer. So I really love this. It's a great product all around and if you're looking for something like this then I would definitely pick it up. So the last sunscreen that I'm going to be sharing with you is one that you've heard me talk about many times and it's the Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense SPF 30 and this has a 20% zinc oxide. As you know, Drunk Elephant has a lot of great products in their skincare line and I never seem to have an issue when it comes to this sunscreen when I'm wearing it on my face. It's a great makeup base, it sits good underneath makeup and it really gives you a nice dewy finish once your makeup is all said and done. Of course, if you don't like that, you can just mattify your face with some powder and you'll be good to go but it really is great underneath makeup and I really love that. Now Drunk Elephant says that this isn't a body sunscreen but they do recommend that you can use it on your face, your neck, your chest as well as the backs of your hands but I use this all over my body and the reason why they say that you shouldn't is because it's not sweat proof and waterproof so if you're going to be swimming or you're going to be sweating a lot they would recommend that you would use a different sunscreen that is water resistant. This is not water and sweat resistant whatsoever. So that's why this is not really considered a body sunscreen, but I use it on my arms and legs and chest when I'm not going to be in water or if I'm not going to be sweating a lot. So I use this regardless for all over my body, especially if I'm not going to be sweating and swimming and I just love this product. This is also 90 mils of product, which the Think Sport is 89 mils of product. So I was right, the Think Sport is less product than all of the sunscreens that I'm talking about today, but I did not realize that it was one mil less than the Drunk Elephant. So now we know. The only downfall with the Drunk Elephant, I do find that it does take some time and effort to rub the product into your skin. As you can see in this clip here, I did put a fair amount on the back of my hand and as I'm rubbing it in, it is taking a long time before the product does go into my skin and it is still leaving a white cast and I wasn't able to rub it all in during this clip. So when you are putting it on your skin, I do find that you do have to work at it a little bit longer to rub it in, but once it's all said and done, it really is nice on the skin and it's a great product. So that's the only downfall with the Drunk Elephant sunscreen, but it's still really good. 
So that is everything in today's video. Those are the four go-to sunscreens that I like to use on my body and they're all mineral based and I really love each and every one of them for different reasons and they're so good. But if I were to pick two body sunscreens that I love the most out of the four that I talked about today, I would definitely recommend the Make Prem as well as the Think Sport. Those two are really nice on the body, they're not greasy and they just feel very comfortable on the skin. But all four of them are absolutely amazing and I would recommend each and every single one of them. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you did find it helpful. If you have not checked out my videos on my face sunscreens, I will link those below for you and definitely check those out because they're very educational as well. So if you have any questions, definitely leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as I can and I will definitely see you in my next video. So take care and we'll see you then. Bye guys.